today what we're going to do is we're going to work on numbers in the thousands. We're going to be building them with our place value disks and we're going to be using dice to help us make some numbers. Okay? The first thing I want to do before we start on our work maths is I want us to look at this number up here that I have on my chart. Does anybody know what that number is? What's that number, Brian? 2,345. 2,345. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to take your place value disks and I want you to build 2,345 on your work map. Can you do that? Good, excellent. Very good. Great job, excellent. So do we have 2,345 on our work map? Yeah. Excellent, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the number 2,345 right up here on our work mat. 2,345. Does anyone know where the comma goes? Yeah. Where does the comma go, Johnny? After the two. After the two, very good. So we're gonna add that comma in right there. 2,345. Now let me ask a question. Look at your work mat. How many thousands Jack, how many thousands do you have on your work map? Two. You have two thousands. So if I were to separate this number out, I would look, it would look like oh this. Gosh. Two thousand. Is that what you have in your work map? Mm -hmm. Let's write two thousand. What we're doing is we're going to decompose the number two thousand because we have two thousand on our work map. Now what about... What about the hundreds? Uh, Brian, how many hundreds do we have? Three. We have three hundreds. So if I separate that out, we have the number 300. Let's write that out. So what we're doing is we're breaking up the number 2,345. Let's break it up even more. Um, Johnny, what do you think this four is? Very good. Four tens is equal to what? Forty. Forty. So let's write that down. And then the last one is easily five. And what is the last one? Five. The last one is five because we have five ones in that number. Yes. Now let me ask you a question, Jack. How do we do expanded form? Tell me what our expanded form would be. 2,000 plus 300 plus 40. Very good. Excellent. So what we just did was we took our number 2,345 and we decomposed it. We broke it up. Excellent. We broke it up into its place value. Very good. You guys were good at that. Does anyone know which number is the standard form? What does that mean? That's my question. Let's see. Which number is the standard form? 2,345. Very good. The number 2,345 is called the standard form. Can you say that? Standard form. Good. And then the expanded form is when we break it out and we decompose that number into the place value. Good. You guys did great with that. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your little tissue, wipe off your work mat, wipe off your work mat. And we are going to practice Oh, sorry about that. I took yours. <laughs> we are going to practice building numbers. You can put it right here. Building numbers with our place value blocks. We cleared us. Yes, so we're going to build numbers. And then we're going to show the expanded form. <coughs> and we're going to write <coughs> the expanded form. But we're going to do it in a little bit of a fun way. Put away your uh, place value disks, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. I, I build numbers. Very good. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Are you ready for the next direction? So we're gonna take our little die that we have. And as you can see, it has a die, and inside of the die is another die. Good, excellent. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. Ready, yeah. Donnie? Watch what, well, we're gonna use it a little differently. Watch, I'm gonna roll it. The outside number is a five, and the inside number is a three. So it's 5,300. Right, I'm gonna do 5,300, and then I'm gonna roll again, 45. 45. Do we do it on our chart too? So what we're going to do first, you ready? First we're going to roll, then we're going to build with our place value discs, and then we're going to write out the expanded form. You don't have to write this one. You're going to do your own. So first you roll, then you build, then you write. Let's check it out. So first, 4,000. First write your, first write your number though. Write the whole number first. So roll, write, build, and then expand. Good. So. Well, you want to roll it one more time to get these last two numbers, oh. okay? Did you roll this? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're gonna use that to make our number. Now, now build. Build this number here. Get uh, four. Good. All right, great job. Yeah. Now that you built it, oh. expand your number. Erase your board and roll it one more time. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Erase your board and roll one more time. Remember, we're going to roll, write the number, build it, expand it. 2,000. I have two twos. I have two twos. Good. What number did you roll? What number is that? Very good, excellent. Oh, what number did wait. you roll? I'll build it too. If I get a one. I want you to check your build against your experience. I have 16, but that's 11. That's okay, so what number is this now? 2,211. Very good, excellent. Actually, yeah, 11. Very good, yes, you have it right. Now build it, and then we're going to expand it. Two So how many thousands? No. Well, look at how, what is this? These 1,000 and 1,000 is? 2,000. 2,000, very good. Good. Okay. What you're going to do now is you are going to take your independent activity, and it looks like this when you get it, but what you're going to do is you're going to glue it in your interactive notebook like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna expand this number. So this number, Brian, what's this number? 1,134. Now the three is underlined. What is the value, Jack, of the three? What is it? 30. 30. So we just write the value in the cloud. Correct, you write the value the of the- Good, the value of the underlined digit in the cloud, and then underneath it, you're gonna write the expanded form. Okay. Question. Yes. On the top. Yeah. Why does it say thirty? But th because that's the value of the underlying digit. So the value of the three, because three tens is equal to what? Thirty. Thirty. Exactly. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you your book and your paper. You're going to cut them out and you're going to glue them down. Notice where did I put the glue? 
just on the tippy top so it flips open. And this is what you're gonna do for your independent activity, okay? Um. After the students leave teacher feature, which is when they work with me at small group instruction, they work on their independent activity, which is called Workbook Nook. This particular activity is an interactive notebook activity where they will write the value of the underlying digit and then create expanded form based on the number that they are working on in their interactive notebooks. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Please give the video a thumbs up so that it can be shown to more teachers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you are alerted when I put new videos up on my YouTube channel. And I would love for you to share this video out by clicking the share button below and you can share it out on your social media channels. Thank you again. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.